Happy Easter, everybody. And if you're like me, you probably got something cooking up really good for Easter Sunday. And what does that mean? Butter. You're gonna probably be putting butter in something. And what do they say about butter? Butter makes everything better. So guess what? I'm gonna show you how to make butter at home. So simple, one ingredient, stick around. Hey, welcome back, and uh, I'm gonna be making butter today. You're not gonna believe how easy it is to make at home with one ingredient, heavy whipping cream. My wife, I don't know how, what possessed her to do this a few weeks ago, but she just started making butter. I'm like, what's going on here? She says, I wanna make butter. So she made butter, and it came out really good. Now I've seen it done before, but I've never really tried it, and it was, it was so simple, it was so good, I'm like, wow. And the after product, you got a little byproduct there, buttermilk, that's great, because you can use that in your coffee. I mean, there's so many things that you can use in it. So, I'm gonna make butter for you today, and you can see just how easy it is to make. So, what are we gonna do? I have my stand mixer here. You could use a little hand mixer. If you got a little butter churner, you could use that. It's easy, don't need much. So what I'm gonna do is just pour uh, a quart of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, into my bowl. There's one, one pint. There's two, two pints equals one quart, right? We don't get it all over me here. You know me, I'm gonna spill something. Alrighty, now I'm just going to raise my bowl here and uh, I'm just going to whip this. It's all I'm going to do. We're going to whip it. It's going to come up like cream, like you're making whipped cream. And then we're going to go beyond that. What, I mean by, what do I mean by beyond? We're going to over whip it. We're going to whip it so hard and so much that we're going to whip all the milk out of the butter, out of the fat. There we go. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start it. I'm going to set this up at 6. I'm going to pull my little splash shield over here because uh, it does tend to splash around a little bit. So that's it. We're just going to let it uh, whip until uh, we get the whipping cream and then be on. Is this not simple? I mean, that's all we're going to do. We're just going to keep whipping this up. As you can see, nothing hard about this. Okay, we're starting to get closer right now. And the reason why I know why is that uh, the cream before was like a nice white. Now, as you can see, it's, uh, it's getting more yellow. So that fat, that fat is starting to uh, extrapolate out. Now, as I'm scraping this, I'm finding that uh, it's much more condensed. And uh, so we're getting very close. Back up on seven. Close, it's uh, becoming a lot uh, more dense, and uh, so it's starting to uh, get to the point where we're going to start extrapolating some of that butter fat out, and uh, looking really good. The, the, the color is really starting to develop, and getting that yellow, that deep yellow that you usually get with butter. Starting to get grainy. 
it means the, uh, the fat is really starting to separate. Pretty soon we'll start hearing some sloshing going on in here. And then I'm going to really cut the power down. I'll, we'll have, huh, we'll have butter, we'll have buttermilk everywhere. Now it's starting to, you can see the uh, cream really getting wet now. So got, that moisture is starting to work its way out. But uh, we're just about, we're only maybe a minute, a minute away from it. Okay, shut it down. One last scrape before we start sloshing. Okay, so it's right about here. I'm starting to get more moisture kicking out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and slow this down. And I cut it down to uh, five. It's really coming together now. It's really breaking apart. We're starting, you know, pretty soon it's going to mass together. Now we're really going to get some sloshing. You can hear it now. I don't know if you can. I'm right over it. You see it's really broken down now. It's getting ready to come together. I'm going to drop it down even slower because it's starting to really come out. Now you can really see the milk. Now you can really see the milk down here. It's really separating, but we still got probably about another 30 seconds to go. Okay, we're just about that's just about it. It is definitely separated out. And uh, now it's splattering on me, so I really gotta bring it down. Now it's time to go ahead and shut this down. Get the butter out of there. We're going to put the butter into some nice ice cold water and uh, going to wash it, help to help prevent it from going rancid so fast. And uh, wow, it is looking so good. I mean, it's so simple. I mean, it's so, so simple. Okay, what I'm going to do, slide this over a little bit, drop my bowl, put some gloves on because I don't want to get stuff all over my hands. Move my water. This is ice cold water. You can see I got some ice in here, and we're just gonna kind of wash the butter and squeeze out any remaining uh, buttermilk that may be in there. And uh, we're just about there. Then we're gonna form it up. We form it up in a number of different ways. I usually just put it in a little glass container. So here we go. I'm just going to take all this off. I'm going to get it off my uh, whip here. Then I'm going to gather it together, give it a squeeze, get it into my water. Now you don't want to be doing this in the summertime, unless you live in a cold place. Because the heat's just not going to cooperate too much and uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling all the butter together into one big clump all the little this little kind of little like pieces that like peas size of peas and I'm getting ready to pull this out so you can all see it and there we go butter so I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of give this a wash squeeze it Kind of squeeze it out as much as I can. In fact, I have some cheesecloth here that we're going to use. I'm going to get into a ball like that. And I got my cheesecloth here. Let's see if I can get this wrapped around and 
just going to squeeze this as tight as I can. See if I can get any more. There we go. A little more liquid out of here. The more liquid we get out, the better. And uh, like I said, helps prevent it from going rent. It's going to stay good for about four to five days. Uh, if you can get all the liquid out, let me extend it by a day or two. But there you go. There's our butter. And uh, what's left behind is all this nice buttermilk. I don't know if you can see in there. There we go. There we go. Buttermilk. So I'm going to set, set this to the side. Put it in a container. I even put that in my coffee. I drink it. It's really good stuff. All right. So I'm going to clear some uh, stuff out of here. A lot of stuff in the way. And then we'll go ahead and get this formed up. Don't go nowhere. Okay, cleaned up a little bit. Now it's time to get the butter out. I just got one of these little containers here. I'm going to place it in. And we'll definitely use this within the next uh, four days. And uh, all I'm going to do is get it in here. Just squeeze the butter or press the butter into the dish. You could form it up, wrap it up, uh, you can do whatever you want, however you want to store yours. But I find this is the best way, I can just scrape off the top, pop, pop, pop. There you go. Wasn't that simple? And <laughs> it's like anything that you make homemade. So much better than store-bought. Don't you agree? Alright, one last thing to do. And that's to try it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and throw an English muffin in. In my air fryer here. My air fryer slash toaster. Now what's, what's better? I mean, yeah, you can put this on toast. Yeah, okay, it's going to be good. But an English muffin with all the little crannies in it? That's how you want to test your butter. All right, so let me go ahead and make an English muffin. We'll come back, we'll give it a try, and we'll wrap this up. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> I'm letting that butter melt a little bit on that English muffin, which is the perfect vessel for something toasted and butter. Fresh butter. All right, before we taste it, let's go ahead and do the episode shout. This episode dedicated to all you sailors that prior to entering the Navy, Worked on a farm, came from a farm, family farm, probably making your own butter. This episode is dedicated to you. All right, let's try this out. <laughs> wow, English muffins are the best. Yeah, dripping down, making a mess. make your own butter 10 times 100 times better than the store bought I think I got a little butter on my lips there um, so easy you know I'm getting two for one I got some nice buttermilk here that I'll put in my coffee it makes a great latte um, but the flavor now this is unsalted now salting butter came about um, as a way to help preserve, let it uh, prevent it from going rancid sort of. But back in the day, right now, like today, we salt butter just primarily for, for flavor. Um, but back in the day, we put a lot more salt in their butter and uh, you know, for, for, for preservation. So anyways, no salt in this butter. This is sweet cream butter. You saw how easy it was to make, so make butter. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, share right over there. Bah! Go ahead and hit the logo. It makes it so much easier uh, to subscribe to the channel. So until next time, thanks, and we'll see you.